Yo, what is up, Giants football scout? We're back at it again with another film analysis. Today we're going to be looking at Makai Becton, the left tackle from Louisville. Um, you know, just off rip, just looking at him um, physically. Dude, 6'7", 364. He is a big, big man, you know, um, big man, right? Which is already a big plus in my book. I mean, you know he's going to have some strength. Um, at least on, you know, on Phil, um, had a very impressive 40 yard dash for a guy that's 364, uh, ran decently faster than Andrew Thomas, who's about 50 pounds lighter. Um, the 23 reps isn't, to be honest, a lot, but hopefully the strength shows up a little bit more on the film. Um, today we're going to be looking at, um, him versus Clemson here at left tackle. Um, yeah, he had a, a, a big push on there on 47. You know, already shown more of a mean streak than Morphs has. A little bit of a double team pass set, I guess. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, there's no way that he's not a good run blocker um, in college or at the next level. That's basically guaranteed just because of his height, weight, and to be honest, it looks like his um, game strength. Um, so that's guaranteed. I'm not even really trying to look at his run game. Um, oh, <laughs> let's take another look at that one. Um, he's gonna baby 47 for the second time in, like, the first drive of the game. Let's just look at this, man. Bang, boom, throws him on the ground. Boom, throws him on the ground again. That's nasty. That's nasty. That little bit of a mean streak, a little bit of, arr, you know. Man. Oh, you can't drop that. Did he drop that? That's horrible. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he looks decently agile for a guy that's six seven, six eight, um, in the three sixty range. You know, very impressed in that regard. Already leaps and bounds better than um, Worfs in my eyes so far, at, at least in the run game. Um, curious what we're, what he's looking like in the, the pass game. I've seen him in one true, like, pass set where he was actually one-on-one. -on -one. And, um, it looked pretty good, though. He didn't give up a lot of, um, didn't give up a lot of ground, get even close to the quarterback, which you like to see. <coughs> a little bit of a false start or offside? What are you talking Quarterback got slammed. That's a <laughs> that's a good block there by him. Like to see that. Mm, kind of got shedded on there by five, but um, got a little bit lucky that. Simmons is just so good. Oh, ooh. Oh, ooh. So far, I think we've seen about three pass sets. This is the first one where he's gotten beat. This looks to be a faster edge rusher. Doesn't have his hand in the dirt. Um, um, so you know he's probably going to go for a uh, speed rush here. Especially considering since he's going against a big dude like Becton. Becton does some good footwork. Bang. And then, um, just had to finish. Um, this block it's a really great job you know just getting in this position um, by Becton let's just look here all right all right he's gonna snap the ball he does some nice conservative steps good job staying with him and then kind of gets sh off the balance and shoved there by um, number five 
um, not very balanced there from him. Didn't even look like he was like squatting, being low to um the leverage didn't seem very good there either. Didn't really block anybody there at all. <laughs> Said whatever. I'm gonna take the day off. Mm. I don't know, man. I'm really curious what he can do in a past set where he's truly him and that other dude. Because we know what he can do in that run game. For sure. Man's a mauler. It's just, um... Mm. To be honest, for a guy that's so big, he seems to be um handling speed rushers actually pretty decently. Has some good footwork. Get to that next level, so seems to be a little bit of a struggle there on that play. Didn't really um find a linebacker to block, but that's that's pretty hard. That's a good good pass set, a true pass set. You know, I don't know. So far, I like the footwork. The um, the hand placement, to be honest, and run blocking isn't much to note just because of the fact that he just kind of pushes people out of the way sometimes, which I guess technically is um bad hand placement in theory because he's just kind of shoving and pressing off. But, um, I mean, it works for him. And when he actually doesn't just press somebody off of him, he does a he actually does a good job getting his hands where it needs to be. I personally like it more of an inside kind of that's horrible there from him. <laughs> but um that's what's gonna happen. I personally like my alignment to be inside inside that um in in between the arms. Where you can get away with holds and whatever. And um, really have full control of their body. But um, outside the shoulders works too. You can get a decent amount of um, misdirection there. Moving whichever way you want them to be pointing. Which is always helpful. In the, um, in the run game if you're trying to seal a block or whatever. Mm, I don't really like this here. He didn't, um, I don't know, he didn't really diagnose the blitz very well here. Um, to be honest, I think both of these dudes um, blitz here. And he's really focused on this um, defensive end in front of him. And two extra guys rush. He doesn't even look that way. In theory, he should have took 47 of the other dude out. But instead, he double teamed um, that defensive end in front of him. So, um, his vision... Got caught slack in there. So far, he seems way better than Worf's in my eyes. But that's just me. He gets some good push, man. He's a guaranteed three yards down the field type guy. If not on the ground type guy in the run game. Man, Louisville got some fast quarterbacks. He has pretty good footwork. He just can't keep it for too long. Like that play where he got kind of shoved to the side when he was caught off balance. Um, it seems like pass rushers really like to um try to go inside with Beckton. Which, to be honest, is fine by me. Because when they go inside, the quarterback can go outside. Um, and usually, to go inside, you have to be pretty far outside. So if the quarterback's getting the ball out quick, um, he can't even go inside in time to get a sack or even put pressure on the quarterback. Which, 
That's a win-win for me. Louisville was actually in this game for a hot minute, weren't they? I like that he got up, instantly picked the blocker, blocked him. I like to see that. To be honest, he might be the most surprising, um, the most surprising tackle that um, we've looked at so far. And just because way analyst talks about him, you would just think he's just a big guy that's not polished yet. But he's, I mean, in a way that's true. He's just kind of a big, strong guy. But um, at the same time, I'd say his footwork's actually pretty solid. And the um, pass protection. I think it's a little bit, um, it's not great in run blocking. But he's just so big and strong and has some good long arms. He can really just kind of get out there, push the people down. What you like. That's really nice. Took seven miles away from any sort of play. There I would have liked. Just my preference here. Um, we'll put this on point five. Um, this backer right here already looks like he wants to blitz. It looks like 43 or something. But he has this guy here too. So um, Becton opts to let the running back handle this defensive end. And um, he's going to help with his defensive tackle. It looks like he goes inside, but I want his hand out because that linebacker blitzes. And if his hand would have been out towards the um, towards that um, that guard, like I much rather want him when he's right right here. He already messed up. His head is completely facing this way, not even acknowledging there's a linebacker here. When ideally his head should be straight, looking straight at this um, linebacker with his right hand out um, to make sure this defensive end doesn't beat this guard right here, which he shouldn't, because they got the center and that left guard there on him. They really don't need Beckton on him. Beckton should really be looking out for these linebackers, and he could have made no pressure beyond number three here at all if he would have just kept an eye on 43, but he didn't. So that's a little bit scary. So far, his awareness might be his um his biggest weakness. There's nothing you can knock on him physically. He has good length, really good long arms, big dude. Looks pretty strong on um on tape. Even with just 23 reps, I say just, but you know what I mean. That's really good right there. <laughs> dude, he's um he's one scary dude. I'm um, if I'm a linebacker I see I see him sprinting at me, coming trying to block me. Mm -mm, I'll run myself out the play. You don't gotta hit me out the play. <sighs> Simmons is a bad man. I'll never understand. It seems like Louisville would much rather trust um, a tight end or a, a running back to take out the um, defensive end or the guy that's standing on the edge right in front of Beckton a lot of the times. But whatever. Hmm. That was a pretty nice play from the quarterback, not even going to lie. And... I don't know. He pretty impressively stays in front of his guy at all times. Even being such a big dude. Let's run this one back, actually. I'm curious on what happened here. It went so fast. We'll have to slow this one down and really analyze this play right here. Um, we'll put this on point five here and take a look. Let's see what happens here. I think this linebacker is going to blitz. Goes right in between them. And then, yeah, I mean, there's nothing much mm, that you can really expect. Um, 
back then to do there. Just kind of got cut off by that um, linebacker. That's just kind of tough. You know? That's just kind of tough. This game's over, though. 38-3. That's tough. Big hole there. Big hole. Really big. That's nice. Alright. Let's see here. Mm. Six got off of him really quickly there. Don't like to see that. Man. He is just. I mean, he's just bang, 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 fast. Good, strong hands. Just pop, pop, pop. The, the pass rusher really does want to go inside. Um, it seems to be um, pass rusher's easiest ways to take down Beckton in, in the pass game. Another nice hole there. But um, it seems that's how uh, these edge rushers want to attack him is take him really far outside and um, cut back inside. Which is um, interesting. I want to see him get one more good, like, there, I mean, to be honest, a lot of his highlights are bullying, like, linebackers, but, um, actually got really good push from these D tackles here. To be fair, though, it looks like Clemson doesn't have a lot of just big body defensive tackles inside. It looks like they just got a bunch of DNs, which is, um kind of interesting to see how that matches up such against the, the big guy that you would think would be really slow he seems to be matching the speed of of this front of Clemson which is impressive that's NFL speed right there so you um for sure can't sleep on that but now it's time for the overview what do I think of Becton um I think Becton's a guy that um, his career is either going to be really um, bang or eh. It's going to be a boom or bust kind of guy. That's the way I see it. Um, eh, maybe not a boom or bust. Maybe like a boomer. Eh. Eh. You know, solid at like pick nine maybe. If you trade with the um, the Jaguars at pick nine. Him or, um, him or even Thomas at nine. Picking between those guys. But, um, yeah, Beckton, I could see him as a guy that has a really high ceiling um, at the next level. Really big dude, but he's still pretty light on his feet. Um, this He's actually really similar to Jason Peters, Brian McKinney. I don't know. I see him more of a um, Jason Peters comparison than Tristan Wirfs. Because um, he's a big dude, but he has um, some nice, really fast feet. And, um, he actually didn't look very slow and, um, looked pretty, he actually looked really not very sluggish and pretty agile mm, that whole time. And, um, man, I gotta say, I am overall pretty impressed with Makai Becton. If he goes to the right O-line coach, he could be, um, a top two, um, offensive tackle in this draft. And, um, I would even go far as say his top 15 tackle in the league at his, um, in his prime. But with that being said, I hope you enjoyed, and go Giants.